Hey dolls, so I wanted to come and show you dolls how I did my clip-in extension. So if you want to see how I got this style, then keep on watching. Okay dolls, so I just wanted to give you some info on the hair really quick. Sorry, I sound a mess right now. I'm a bit under the weather. So this hair is from Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions. And the material is 100% Remy Human Hair. The length that I have is 22 inches. The hair is silky straight. And I have the color off black, which is 1B. I have the set that is the 220 gram set, which comes with 10 pieces. And the pieces include a one piece, eight inch width, with, which has four clips. I will try to insert the footage on the side to coincide with what I'm saying. You also get a one piece seven inch width that has three clips. You get two six inch widths that have three clips. You get a um, you get two four inch widths that have two clips. Four pieces of 1.5 inch widths, um, and they have one clip. So I use the one clips at the front, but my discount code I will link down below because the code that they have here in the email. I will have to get them to change this, but it is for $10 off. So I will put the code on the screen and put it down below for y'all. Let me show you the packaging and what comes inside of the box. Okay, so this is the box. It says Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions, and you see the picture. And then on the back, it says Invest in Your Hair is the crown you never take off. And this is 100% human hair extensions. So then once you open up the box, you can see that the hair is wrapped, and it is in a plastic bag. So this is how the hair comes. And then you also do have this clip on the inside to help hold your hair up while you are styling or inserting the clips, you also get a rat tail comb, and then you also get a little package that comes with two clips for use if you need to add them on, and also care instructions, and then this is how the whiffs actually look. It's really thick and full. Okay, so this is how my hair looked to start off. You can see I do need a trim. Don't worry about that. I don't need y'all telling me in the comments or whatever. So yeah, this is how my hair looked to start off with. And then I'm just going to sit down and section off my hair. So I just did a section across the back. And I'm using my nails to part. So the parts are not going to be straight. It really doesn't matter as long as your clips are staying on and not sliding out. Your part doesn't have to be straight for this to work. So I'm just going to start clipping the hair on and it's really kind of hard to see what I'm doing but most of y'all probably know how these clips work. You open them up and then you slide it on and snap it into place to hold on to where you want it to hold on to wherever you are placing the clips into your hair. So it's really easy whenever you get your clips just kind of play around open up the clip close it and you know kind of see how the clip actually works if you have never had any clip in extensions and it's really really simple and easy for anyone even if it is your first time. Um, but you just open up the clips before you actually attach the wilfs to your hair, of course. So you open up the clip, then you're going to slide it down into place, and then you're going to snap the clip together. It does make a little noise whenever it snaps in together, but I did have YouTube playing in the background, so I didn't leave the uh, footage in where you can actually hear the sound of the clips. And as you can see, my parts are not straight. But it does not matter as long as it's not a section of hair that you want to leave out. Like if you're going to do a half up, half down or something like that, then of course you want to make sure that you have your part area straight where you're going to show the part at. But in between where the clips are installed, that does not have to be straight because no one will see it. And kind of to me, I feel like if your part is not it's straight and it is a little bit more jagged it does hold on to the clip a little bit better in my opinion especially if you have more of a silkier textured hair because throughout the day sometimes my clips will still slide a bit but it's easy to go in and readjust it like it doesn't fall all the way out like you're going to be embarrassed if you're out somewhere or something. But throughout the day, sometimes it will start to slide a little bit and I could just make the adjustments and no one even really knows what I'm doing. So yeah, this is how it's looking so far and it's nice and full already because these wefts are very thick. It's not just like one weft on each section. 
So yeah, it's really, really full. You don't have to use all of them. I didn't use all of them and my hair still turned out super full and it gives you like sewing vibes, but you're able to do multiple different styles. Like I said, like if you want to do ponytails, half up, half down or buns or whatever it is that you want to do. I just did a middle part uh, down style because that's just what I was feeling on this particular day. So yeah. Now you can see I have most of my clips clipped in across the back section. Um, I think I did add maybe one more. Oh no, I didn't add any more clips across the back. So now we're going to move on to doing the front section. Okay, so in the front, I went ahead and sharpened up my parting area. And then I also did use some of the one clip wefts right in the front. So as you can see, I sectioned it off here, but then I did use that for my last clip at the top. I actually made another space underneath and added the first clip there, as you can see. And then I'm gonna add the second clip where I made that first initial part at. Um, so yeah, I just added two clips on to the front area just to give the front a little bit of length and fullness as well. But it did look fine without adding any in the front. So it's just up to you, whatever kind of style you want to do or whatever and it's still nice and flat with me pulling my hair behind my ear and everything like that so as you can see this is how it's looking it's pretty much done on this side we still have to flat iron and you know perfect our style and stuff like that so on the other side i am going in and adding two clips as well i like to make it even on both sides so that we can have the same fullness and density all around the head. So this is how it's looking and the hair is a bit bent because the bag was folded up inside of the box. So the hair does have like a bend to it. It's not completely straight. So I do need to go in and flat iron the hair and I probably should have did this before I put it on if you don't want to keep adding heat to your hair. But I did a really quick pass. Well, not that quick, but it's not giving my hair a lot of heat and I didn't have the flat iron turned all the way up either so yeah on the parts where I'm kind of by my hair I kind of passed it a little faster and then on the ends I kind of slowed down on the clip ends so yeah I'm just going through and flat ironing all of the hair I kind of skipped through this part because y'all know how to flat iron at this point right so I'm kind of just going through and I'm grabbing my hair and the clip ends at the same time because it's really hard to just do the clip ends only if you only want to flat iron the clip ends then go ahead and flat iron them while they are not on your head but i just wanted to go ahead and get these bins out and i had already installed it so yeah after i do that that pretty much sums up the style but then i do go in and perfect it even more to make it more so like how i like to wear my hair so it's kind of like two options in one depending on what kind of look you're going for um, and on this side, of course, I went in and flat ironed it so it can match with the other side. On this part, you can really see the band really good. That's what I was trying to show y'all so y'all wouldn't think I'm just flat ironing just for the hell of it because the hair was definitely bended um, and creased up a bit from it being in the box. So this is how it looks. You can wear it like this, which is a very natural out the door type of look it's just flat ironed and really sleek but y'all know me i like my baby hair so i did do that as well and this is how the hair looks now compared to how it looked at the beginning when it was just my hair with no clip in so it's really pretty nice and sleek and i wanted to show y'all you can do a ponytail i did end up wearing this in a ponytail as well and it was nice and sleek you couldn't see any of the clips sticking out or anything like that it was really nice so yeah, this is how the hair looks so far. Really cute. You can stop here if you want, but if you want to get some bomb baby hairs, then you know, go ahead and move on to this next step. So I just took my edge control, which is the style factor, um, and an edge brush, and I'm just making some baby hairs in the front just to polish this look off and just give it what I really like about the look. So yeah, I was listening to YouTube, so don't mind my face because I was laughing. But yeah, so I just did three swoops on each side. Um, one of them is more so like my sideburn piece. So I just did kind of two at the top and then the sideburn 
portion as well and I did the same thing on the other side y'all have seen me do my baby hairs plenty of times now if not then you know this is a little tutorial for y'all real simple doing my little swoops and this is how everything came out super cute and polished and I just feel like this just polishes the look off even more and just makes it look like more effort was put into it than just wearing it the first way but I feel like both ways look good but I like to have my baby hair so you know it's up to you whatever you prefer so this is how it looks and then I kind of swoop it behind my ear and that's how it looks nice and polished and it's giving salon vibes compared to the other side, which is just kind of out the door vibes, if y'all know what I'm saying. So I also did add some bio silk as well to the hair just to give my hair uh, more of a shine. And I also did put a little bit mixed into the um, actual extensions as well. So it just makes the hair look nice and polished and everything like that. Um, and I didn't do the baby hairs on the other side to show y'all how I did it, but I did complete the look so y'all can see how it looks. So yeah. This is how the hair turned out. The hair is really nice. It's very silky um, and it blends in with my hair really nice. My hair was flat ironed. It's not as straight as it normally is. I let somebody else do it. I could have got it straighter myself, but it is what it is it's already done and i didn't do a natural hair type of update and really like go into my natural hair because i do need to get a trim um so yeah i haven't had a trim in a long time but it is what it is i wanted to go ahead and do this video for y'all and show y'all how these clip-ins turned out so i think this is really cool um because you can do multiple styles half up half down ponytails different stuff like that you can clip them in for more thickness or if you want to add some length you can get some that are longer these are of course longer than my hair but they definitely make my hair look a lot more fuller as well but it looks really natural like my hair blends in really really good so yeah okay dolls so that is pretty much it for this video i hope you dolls did enjoy it and if you have questions leave them down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye dolls